My name is Mecca Olola, and I'm the head of corporate communications of Owando PLC, Nigeria's leading integrated energy solutions provider, and I'm a Nigerian. Um, the question of, of youth contributing to positive change in Africa in the short term is a very interesting one, um, particularly because you know, um, demographic studies show that um, youth in Africa today constitute about 60% of the entire uh, population. So it means that they are a critical number, a critical mass of what the future holds for the continent. And if we marshal, if we galvanize the energies of our youth in the right direction, we will see a lot of change, a lot of positive change um, towards growth, economic growth, and economic empowerment for even generations after them. An interesting point that has been made uh, on Facebook is that it shouldn't just be um, growth for the sake of growth, but it should be sustainable growth. And one of the avenues that um, uh, uh, have been touted to be of veritable um, um, interest to, to use will be in the area of, of, of social enterprise. Okay, the ability to, to ensure that whatever venture you're engaging has a net positive impact on the society at large. You know, you know so that's why we're inculcating the discipline of enterprise in our use. We should be mindful of, of, of not just profit, but the people and the planet as well. And I strongly believe that if we adapt this philosophy of, 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 of um, this inclusive uh, uh, philosophy of providing value across the value chain and not just from a very myopic uh, point of view of profit, we will be building a sustainable society you know, for generations to come. You know, so when we say that the youth are the, the, the future of, of society, we're not just looking at the immediate future, we are building a sustainable future for Africa. So I, I think it's, it's very interesting that anyone will point out you know, the, 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 the concept of, of being involved in you know, green jobs or you know, social, social entrepreneurship. Okay, so that's a, that's a very good point to, to make there. The second thing, and lastly, is that there is a positive correlation between conflict, strife, you know, um, restiveness in, in Africa, and lack of economic empowerment in youth. You know, because once you don't provide the youth with the enabling environment to contribute to development, you, the, 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 all the energies will have to go into something. And sometimes it goes into, it's channeling to um, 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 negative, negative, you know, is vented, you know, f from, from a negative standpoint. So I would say that, you know, as a matter of deliberate policy, you know, leadership across Africa should engage, you know, from a very deliberate point of view. Um, in, in clusters, you know, it could be from a regional point of view, you know, looking at um, nation states, you know, by nation states, you know, a very strong um, um, program to ensure that the youth are engaged, you know, and when we come to uh, World Economic Forum on Africa next year or in the next, you know, um, a couple of years, we will see appreciable change and we will see a lot of contribution, you know, from, from the youth in this, in this regard. Thank you.